kids all across the tri state are heading back to school this month. Some went back today, making sure that kids get to school safely and on time, proving to be a bit of a challenge. Reporter Taylor Nimmo looking at some of the roadblocks that local districts have been trying to navigate. Transportation was a real challenge, and so there are a lot of individuals that are concerned about what transportation is going to look like this year. The CPS board approved a new contract with SORTA that will allow students to ride metro buses this upcoming school year. So this year, all of our K-8 students will be on yellow buses. Unlike last year, we had our 7th and 8th grade students on metro, and our 9th through 12th grade students will still ride metro to school. Uh, it is the community routes, and so that was one of the things that was really a concern. In the past, there were extra routes specifically for CPS students. We no longer have those. Since the elimination of Metro's extra routes last fall, Cincinnati Public School students are mixed with regular Metro passengers, not just other students. We both deal with having to see and listen to crackheads. Like they sing to us, they in the perverts, they look at us. Back in May, CPS parents and students met at City Hall to voice their concerns. Really been a headache for the whole school year. She's been late 47 times this school year and that's not a habit of hers. It makes me feel weird, weirded out because it makes me feel like I don't even want to get on the bus outside of going to school. Like We don't feel like our voice, our voice is heard if we tell somebody because they don't, nothing happens. Superintendent Wright says she understands the concerns, but the resources just aren't there. There is a national bus driver shortage, and many of us have experienced that shortage. So uh, to make sure that our students get to school and get to school safely and on time, we are using the community routes. That was Taylor Nimmo reporting. CPS says students will receive postcards in the mail with more information on how they can get to and from school via Metro. This postcard will serve as the student's bus pass for the first day of school. There's also a virtual transportation information session for parents. That's this coming Sunday.